Memories. That's MerchandiseAndMemories.com. And welcome to another edition of Bulldogs Unboxings. This week, as you can see right in front of me, we've got the WWE Legends Classic Cage Playset. And I'll be honest, I have like 75, 80 different rings around here in Bulldog's basement. And do I need all of them? Absolutely not. But I did see this um, at this point, almost a good six months ago, more than six months ago by the time this airs. And I instantly fell in love with it for two reasons. One, the color of the ring. You can see it's a classic uh, blue ring from, from, from back in the day, from the, the golden era of WWE at WWF. And then the classic blue cage. I mean, this brings me back to the LJN ring and the cage that came with that, which I had back in the day. I can no longer assemble it on top of my ring because the ring is uh, seen better days. It's all dilapidated. So if I attempted to put the cage pieces on it, it would just, who knows what would happen. It would probably fall apart. So let's just take a look at the box art here for a second. So you've got the, the classic cage play set. You can see you got Andre and Hogan, Mr. Perfect and Bret Hart. And then you've got the two different pieces that this comes with. It is unassembled, just in case you thought it was already assembled in this little box. And then uh, got some more artwork here. And then on the back, it just encourages you to collide with rivals in epic grudge matches. And you know, this, this item overall makes a lot of sense because um, Mattel has invested so much into the Legends line. Like it, it, it started in the early days of Mattel and then stopped for a few years and now they've, they've gone all in on that, that Legends line. So it makes sense that they have a ring and a, a cage for that matter that's compatible with those figures. So without further ado, we're going to open this up and we're gonna see what the parts are. There is a, a perforation here along the back which hopefully will make it relatively easy to open. Yeah, it does. There you go. And we'll just show you the pieces before I assemble it. So we got two, two cage pieces. They, I mean, this looks like 3D printed type material, um, which is fine, but it's just, it's fairly easy, uh, you know, not, not super expensive materials for sure. You've got, out of here there you go you've got the typical wwe metal ring which is just spring loaded which i don't love because you can't display a lot of figures on it without them falling over but it is what it is and like i said i do dig the color for sure and then you've got let's try this first you've got a baggie with all the the ropes and the uh, the turnbuckle pads and the connectors for the cage that, that's all in this bag here and then finally you've got two more pieces of 3d printed cage so without further ado and sorry I've also got instructions for goofs like me who are gonna need to, to figure out exactly how to put this this sucker together so without further ado, I'm going to clear my work area. I'm going to start putting this together. I will speed it up the, the video so you're not just sitting watching me painfully put this together step by step. And then we'll come back after and we'll take a look.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am only glad that you were not able to, to watch that in real time, that I had to edit a lot of that out. That was one of the most frustrating, like hilariously frustrating experiences of my life. Uh, you know, assembling the parts of the cage was, was not difficult once I figured out how to do it. And then these little, there's these little bolts. This is what I was struggling with. So first I figured out, okay, I can pick, put them on the outside ones. And that was fine. And then I realized I had to open it back up to put the inside bolts here. So I guess the good news is this, this thing ain't going anywhere. This is solid. Unlike the LJN blue cage, this one is super solid. Um, it, it's actually, you know, actually quite impressive for what it is. You've got the WWE logo, logo up top and, or sorry, uh, on the, the mat rather. You've got a fairly high cage. So I'm just gonna, let's, Let's bring some folks in here. So we're gonna get, we've got Andre the Giant. We're just gonna turn this around so you can, where is the cage door here? We did figure out the cage door pretty easily. So you've got Andre the Giant walking in. He's in here, the door locks. That's one thing that does actually, I did do properly is open the door. Uh, and let's say he's, he's taking on his arch nemesis, Big John Stud. Stud goes in move Andre out of the way here. I mean, you've got just even sort of hanging off, the wrestlers can hang off the cage here. You can do some good spots up there. Uh, I just realized, there we go, that needs to be closed. Um, you know, the assembly issues aside, this is a pretty solid piece of work. I really do like this cage. Was it worth all the time I spent setting it up? Gonna say no. But that was half the fun. It made for, for some interesting content, I hope. And uh, I, I'm glad I've got this cage. It is uh, just a good compliment to the WWE Legends uh, figures that I own. And for Bulldogs Unboxing, I'm Canadian Bulldog. We'll see you next time.